Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So we got this 69 Mustang here in the shop and we need to drain the rear axle fluid or gear oil. So what you need to do in order to drain the oil is three things. So you got to take the, the 916 nuts that are laying down on the floor right there. There's four of them. There's one there, one there, and then two on the opposite side and right here. The axle then slides out. If it does not slide out, just put some, some pressure towards, towards you and then tap it on the top with the hammer, okay? You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So once you have done this on both sides, uh, you wanna pull it out to the point where you can pretty much see your bearing on, on both sides, right? And the reason for that is because you need to take the axle out of the the whole gear assembly that is inside the differential, right? Because this differential being a Ford 9 inch uh, will be the same for the 8 inch. Uh, since it does not have a rear cover, as you can see back there, there's no bolts in the back. You can simply drain it like you would on another car. So on some of these... Uh, housings you're gonna have a drain bolt on the very center of the bottom and as you can see mine does not okay so in the event that yours does not just like this one you're gonna have to remove the 10 bolts at the front of that whole carrier right there oh and another thing to be mindful of once you take these four bolts off you're gonna pretty much take everything loose like the whole uh, brake drum assembly so you want to hold that in place you want to hold it back or I mean, simply as you're trying to pull this forward, the moment it nudges forward, just make sure you kind of catch this and make sure you hold it back. It'll stay there. I mean, it it, it usually does not fall all off, you know, and, it, and I mean, it can't because it's gonna, it's gonna land right on top of this axle anyways. And of course, you got your brake line that's kind of holding it all back to the wheel cylinder, right? So moving forward, let's just say you took the 10 bolts out from the front of the housing and it still doesn't come off because of course, it never does right so on my case it's one of those times when it never does and as you can see i barely have a little bit of a trickle coming out of there now it's not very much oil that's coming out and i've been at this for a couple of minutes now so i decided to put my jack right here okay and what this will do is it's going to pry up on the whole uh gear assembly right there so i'm going to grab onto it from from the front snout right there where it connects to the drive shaft so you will have to remove your drive shaft for this and all you're simply going to do is you're going to crank up on your jack i'm going to try to give you a good angle here and you're going to see that you're going to start to see the whole uh gear assembly being put under tension upward and at the same time by by pushing that upward it's going to want to open up the gap right here at the back okay so you're gonna also see that the that the whole differential is gonna want to tilt as I do that. So let me start going at it. Okay. You're gonna see more fluid also come out more than likely. See right there, we're starting to see more constant fluid. Okay. So we got more constant fluid, still not enough, still not separated. So if this happens to you, unfortunately, you will have to either try to use a hammer or get a wedge tool or some kind of a chisel. You know, of course, all of us mechanics, we use uh, our screwdrivers as chisels, which is, I mean, I guess not recommended. <laughs> but, but regardless, you can use that as a chisel and you might have some success. Uh, but what I've noticed that usually works is, again, you put the jack under tension like we did over here in the front snout. And as we're doing that, it's gonna continue to pretty much make everything looser and looser and eventually it'll pop loose. Uh, try to stay away from hitting corners. You wanna hit flat surfaces. Do not hit this flat surface here because if you do, you can end up cracking this case. So you wanna hit hard corners, you know, like this is a hard corner of the whole case. Okay, and by doing that, we're we're pretty much causing a vibration that is that is causing everything to tear, just like an impact does when you when you're trying to take a bolt loose.
And there we go. It is finally open. Got a got a nice split right there. And here it is. See? Now it's split open. Now we can re remove some tension off of the jack. The tension's loose now and our oil is now draining out. So from here on, be very careful. That thing does weigh a lot. Uh, once you get your jack out of here and everything, you want to definitely support that with two hands and do not have your face right under that as you're taking it off. You know, you can seriously get hurt with this. It weighs a lot. Well, I hope this information was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It gives YouTube feedback and lets them know that this is good content. Thank you all for watching. Until next time.